That was like a fastball. On a spring afternoon in Phoenix, Arizona, six-year-old Kyle Bird is taking batting practice. Why do you love baseball so much? Because I get home runs. What's it, Daisy? Oh, boy. Kyle and his twin sister, Lauren, were less than a year old when doctors diagnosed them with SMA, spinal muscular atrophy, a severe form of muscular dystrophy. Nothing can really prepare you for, you know, for the moment when a, you know, when a clinical professional says your children have a terminal illness. It was a pretty dark moment. It probably took me a year to come to terms with what we were dealing with. I cried every night for a year. Excuse me. When I, um, when I would rock them to sleep at night, um, I just remember thinking, uh, just crying, like tears falling on them while I was rocking to sleep and just thankful that they were too young to realize that their mom's crying. Like his twin, Kyle has legs that are permanently bent. He cannot lift his head or roll over in bed. His arms and lungs are weak. He's fed through a tube. Many SMA children die before the age of two. Yet even as they continue to face an uncertain future, their personalities have emerged. I started realizing that they're joyful. They are incredibly smart. They're hilarious. Like, why am I so sad? Bam! Good shot, buddy. He's the son that I always wanted. I mean, he has gravitated to sports like as much as my son, as much as I would have wanted my son. Fittingly, for a boy whose parents got engaged at Chase Field, Kyle loves the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm his dad. I had really no idea the statistics that reside in this kid's head. Who hits the ball the farthest on the D-backs right now? That's a tough one. Sometimes I have to ask the tough questions. I think it's AJ Pollock. Well, one day he was laying in his bed and he's got his uh, D-back stuffed animal and he's got his map of Chase Field on the wall and he looked over at his map and he looked back at me and he said, I just want to be a real D-backs baseball player, Mom. That wish starts taking shape here at Kyle's weekly Miracle League game. He has no idea that a few of his favorite Diamondbacks are stopping by. Kyle, nice to meet you. Adam. Adam Eaton, nice to meet you. How are you? Adam Eaton Spanky. Yes, I'm Adam Spanky Eaton. That's nice. That's awesome that you remember me. I appreciate that. Go! Yeah! Go! Yeah, baby! Keep going! As Kyle crosses home plate, Willie Bloomquist has big news. Hey, that was a really good hit. I have a question for you. I understand you had a big wish. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, yeah, a real baseball player. You want to be a real baseball player for the Diamondbacks? Would <laughs> you like to do that? Yeah. And come be a part of our team? Oh, the Willie Bloomquist. That's right, I sure am. I knew it. You knew it? <laughs> Days later, Kyle is inside Chase Field, meeting up with some fellow D-backs. What's going on, man? What's up? You been all right today? How you doing? You were so good yesterday. Thank you. <laughs> you say switch up your hands. Kyle takes his cuts <laughs> and gets some hitting tips. Ready? Get your bottom hand down there. There it is. There it is. All right, here we go. Nice. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> Kyle's off to the clubhouse where one of his favorite pitchers awaits. All right, follow me. We'll go by Goldschmidt's locker and... Who's number seven? Cody Watts. Wow. Good, he is good. Who's, who's this? Number five? Whose locker is this? Kyle, your locker! Oh, my <laughs> God. Okay. Oh, wait, who is that? Who is that? You tell me. Me. You've got your own bobblehead. You got a question for him? 
Kyle spots manager Kirk Gibson. Oh, uh, wow. Why did the D backs lose? <laughs> Why don't you ask that guy? No, no, you're the manager. He wants to know. He wants to know why. We. Now Kyle's on the field. Awesome. Where he gets awesome. introduced to his new teammates. Uh, we got a lineup change today. He's going to be in our lineup today and be with us this weekend. So I think we should give him all a nice. Yeah. During batting practice, Kyle works on his pitching. Yeah. Later, in front of 24,000 fans, the newest D-back enjoys a special honor. And now, throwing out today's ceremonial first pitch, Arizona Diamondback, Kyle Bird. Good job. But for Kyle, nothing feels better than being a real D-back, playing on this field. You want to play catch, huh? I love it. You love it. Part of the team. 